We begin with the shocking new details in the federal indictment of a powerful U.S. senator. And tonight, the calls for New Jersey's Bob Menendez to resign are growing, including from the governor of his state and from his own party, who say the three-term senator needs to step down immediately. A grand jury indicted the Democratic senator and his wife on three counts of conspiracy to commit bribery, extortion and fraud in a case alleging he aided a foreign government and New Jersey businessmen. The 39-page indictment just unsealed today is astonishing in its scope. Prosecutors found hundreds of thousands of dollars inside the lawmaker's house with cash stuffed in his congressional jacket with his name on it, and then these gold bars that were wrapped in paper towels. In a statement, Menendez denies any wrongdoing. This is his second indictment in 10 years, which is believed to be the first time in American history that a sitting U.S. senator has been indicted on two separate criminal cases. CBS's Scott McFarlane is on Capitol Hill with all of the details. Scott, I've read through this indictment. The charges here, the accusations are stunning in their detail. And they are rocking Capitol Hill, Nora. The senator faces prosecution and calls from inside his own party to resign, accused of leveraging his powerful seat here at the Senate to enrich himself. The indictment against New Jersey Democrat Robert Menendez and his wife alleges vast corruption, trading political favors with three New Jersey businessmen in exchange for riches. Federal agents say when they raided the family home last summer, they found $100,000 worth of gold bars, $480,000 in cash, some stuffed in envelopes found in a jacket bearing Menendez's name. And outside in the driveway, a $60,000 Mercedes-Benz convertible, allegedly given to them by one of the businessmen he helped. The indictment says agents discovered a Google search by Menendez asking how much is one kilo of gold worth? The senator and his wife accepted hundreds of thousands of dollars of bribes in exchange for Senator Menendez using his power and influence to protect and to enrich those businessmen. Prosecutors allege Menendez wielded his Senate Foreign Relations Committee chairmanship to help one of the businessmen, American Egyptian Will Hanna, secure a lucrative contract in Egypt and helped Hanna get sensitive information about the U.S. Embassy in Cairo, which was ultimately shared with the Egyptian government. They say the scheme started in 2018, just months after a mistrial was declared in a prior corruption case Menendez was involved in. I've made my share of mistakes, but my mistakes were never a crime. The new indictment details the involvement of Menendez's wife, Lebanese-born Nadine Arslanian, whom he married in 2020 after 10 months of dating. The senator is seen here serenading her at India's Taj Mahal These hands could hold the world. before proposing. Arslanian is accused of taking a no-show job with Hana, who allegedly had close ties to Egyptian intelligence. And according to the indictment, Hana, in a text message to an Egyptian general, referred to Menendez as our man. The 69-year-old senator, who will temporarily step aside from his role as committee chairman, blasted the charges, saying the excesses of these prosecutors is apparent. They have misrepresented the normal work of a congressional office. On top of that, they have attacked my wife. Congressional ethics watchdog Noah Bookbinder. No matter the outcome of this case, no matter the party, you think this damages public trust? Corruption in any party, any part of the ideological spectrum is damaging to the American people's faith in government. The indictment could complicate Democrats' attempts to hold on to their slim Senate majority next year. Menendez himself is up for re-election, hasn't announced any plans to resign his seat. It would be New Jersey's governor, Phil Murphy, who would declare his replacement, Nora. Scott McFarland, thank you.